Hello everyone, welcome back to Knowledge India once again. In this particular video, we are going to look at a particular question, which is what's the difference between I am role trust relationship and pass role. Now this is a doubt which many people have asked me uh, during different training courses and I thought let me explain it to you with a small diagram here. So here is the scenario. There is an IM role called role one created in an AWS account. Okay. Uh, there's a user Tom who wants to use this IM role. Okay. And Tom is confused about trust relationship and IM pass role. So to understand this clearly, let's take this example of IM role role one. Now, whenever we create an IAM role, there are two important parts to that IAM role. The first thing is the permissions part that what sort of permissions are given to that IAM role. You do that by attaching IAM policies, isn't it? So let's say just for example, uh, here for the IAM role, role one, we have given permissions to interact with DynamoDB. For example, so let's say get item action is allowed on a particular DynamoDB table, right? So that's the permission allowed. So an IAM policy is written and that has been attached to role one. So that's the first part. The second part of an IAM role is trust relationship. So that's actually an attribute of the IAM role. So whenever you create an IAM role, you can go ahead and even check the details of that IAM role, you will see the trust relationship part. The trust relationship basically says that who would be able to assume this role. Please understand it again. Who can assume this role? Now, let's say if this role one has been created for a purpose that EC2 service will assume it, which means let's say we want that this role, role one, can be given to EC2 instances. And then probably some code is there on that EC2 instance, which will be interacted with, which will be interacting with DynamoDB table. Okay. So that's why we have created this role. So I hope you are clear that what sort of permissions that role has got, that is one thing on the left hand side. And so the second thing is that who will be able to assume this role. So EC2 service only can assume this role, which means Lambda cannot assume it. Some other user cannot assume it, right? Okay. So here's the, now this is the thing. Now Tom wants to use it. Now in what way can Tom go ahead and use it? Can Tom go ahead and actually assume this role and uh, then start operating with role one answer is no Tom cannot assume this role uh, uh, because in the trust relationship you can see here in the trust relationship it is clearly written that EC2 service can only assume this role okay so what Tom can actually do here is that Tom can probably pass this role to an EC2 instance so let's say maybe Tom is creating an EC2 instance, let's say, you know, in there's an EC2 instance with this particular ID, I hyphen something, something. So Tom wants to go ahead and actually give this IAM role, role one to this EC2 instance. Now, can Tom just go ahead and do it without any issues? No, it depends on the fact that whether Tom has IAM pass role action allowed on this particular resource role one or not. So this particular action, I am pass role, this particular action is basically is actually required when you want to pass a role to some service, right? For example, if Tom wants to pass a role, role one to an EC2 instance, the role which Tom is, is, Tom is trying to pass, which is role one, on that particular role, Tom needs IAM pass role permission. So whatever IAM policy is attached to user Tom, there an IAM pass role action should be allowed. And there in the resource, in the statement, in the resource part, role one should be mentioned. Then only, then only 
Tom can go ahead and do pass role activity and allocate this IM role to this particular EC2 instance. Otherwise, Tom won't be able to do it. Now, if you understand this part, you can also understand with this that when you have multiple IM roles in an AWS account, how you can actually go ahead and restrict that only certain users will be able to basically give an IM role to a particular resource. For example, maybe in, in your AWS account, you have got 10 different IM roles, right? Out of that, will you, out of that, maybe two or three of IM roles are quite privileged. They have got a lot of permissions, right? And let's say all of those IM roles can be given to EC2 instances. Now, will you go ahead and just keep the setup so open in your account that any user ABC can go ahead and just give any IM role to any EC2 instance? Answer is no. You should not do it that way. So that's where it becomes very important that you that you remain very careful about about giving this particular permission, which is IM pass role on on any particular instant on any particular role to a user. You should carefully carefully look at this that which are the which are the IM roles and for for which IM role which users should have permission to do the pass role action okay so only when you give pass role act permission to a particular user they can give that I they can give uh, a particular IM role to an EC2 instance or to a lambda or things like that okay so uh, please uh, be very careful about it. I hope you understood this and go ahead and uh, maybe just try to do a small activity in your account. Go ahead and create a new role and then create a new user and using this new newly created user, try to give this role to an EC2 instance. Normally, you won't be able to do it unless until the user which you have created, that's, that user has pass role action available. Now, many of the times people just go ahead and, you know, generally operate with admin user when they are learning and that's why they do not realize this thing. So I hope you understood this thing. Um, if it made sense, please let me know. Drop a comment and, uh, uh, you know, please tell me if there is anything more which you would like to know in this regard. Um, and yeah, if you want to learn uh, or want me to present on something else, please write below. Thank you everyone. See you again in the next video.